We are following the latest developments in the mysterious murder of an American woman in Italy. Investigators have arrested a 27-year-old immigrant from Senegal in the killing of Ashley Olsen. She was found dead in her Florence apartment last week. Autopsy results reveal the 35-year-old had several skull fractures before she was strangled to death. Sabina Castelfranco is a CBS News producer. She's been following the investigation in Florence since she joins us now. Sabina, what can you tell us about the man who's now been charged? Well, the man uh, that uh, is going to be charged is uh, Senegalese. He's 27 years old. He hasn't been in Italy for very long. He got here just a few months ago to be reunited with his brothers who were already here. Uh, he, does know ha he doesn't have any legal papers. He had a clean criminal record. He uh, hadn't been involved in any crime in this country before. And certainly, he had not met Ashley before that night. Um, so these are all the uh, things that we were told about uh, the Senegalese 27-year-old. Uh, uh, you know, a lot of people are saying that Italian police were able to solve this thing in record time. How were they able to find this guy, make an arrest so quickly? Well, it certainly was record time by Italian standards, let me tell you. Um, the, the decisive evidence really came yesterday because um, they found a condom that had been used and a cigarette butt and took um, some biological evidence. Uh, and so using a DNA that was also found under Ashley's um, uh, nails, uh, they were able to compare both and realize it was the same. In addition to that, uh, they were able to uh, take a look at hours and hours of uh, CCTV footage from surveillance uh, cameras all over uh, the city and uh, soon were able to identify uh, him because he left the club that uh, Ashley had met him at, the Monte Carlo, um, at about uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh, they left together, uh, and that is on camera, and then uh, they went into her apartment together, and that is also on camera. In addition, there were also witness reports that said they saw them leave and arrive at Ashley's apartment. So the prosecutors say this man has largely admitted to his role in Ashley Olson's death. Uh, is that all he said? And what are police saying about a possible motive? Uh, we don't really know what he's been saying about a possible motive. Uh, the uh, prosecutor and the uh, police ahead of the flying squad today didn't really tell us very much about what else he's been saying, apart from the fact that uh, he told police that he had uh, that um, Ashley Olson had fallen that night. In fact, she had uh, two fractures um, on her skull, which means that that could have been enough to kill her. Um, and then in addition to that, she had strangulation marks, so she, she was uh, basically finished off by strangulation. But they haven't really, apart from telling us that he largely admitted to his role, they haven't really gone into uh, an, a, a precise motive for what happened. Okay, Sabina Castel Franco, thank you so much. We appreciate it.